What's up, guys? We're here for another episode of What's Hot. Mike and Tim. Tim. Back again. All right, Tim, what do you want to start off with this week? So I'll start off with uh, the thing I'm most excited for. We got these new Tog Tog. in. It's, uh, we're getting to the heat of summer. About time people are starting to catch sheep. See our catch sheep set down at the tunnel, Ocean City Inlet, that kind of thing. We have them in a variety of sizes from uh, two and a half all the way down to like three quarters. Also, um, got some like two different colors. Of those. Yeah, a whole different people range. Have been, people have been asking for tog jigs. Basically, what it is is you got a heavy jig. Some of them are heavier. Um, little bait fish profile with a short um, stout hook. You put your green crab. Clam, whatever you want to use. Fiddler crab, that kind yeah. of thing. Also, uh, same thing from Tsunami. We got these uh, ball jig heads in. Essentially, these are going to be great when uh, wreck fishing for flounder, sea bass, that kind of thing. When you don't want a huge hook, but you need a heavy jig head to get down. Like this one's a four ounce head. Uh, you could put like, like a twister tail, paddle tail, straight tail jig on there and drop it down 100 foot of water. That yeah, kind of thing. Jig I, up some flounder. What I really like about these is normally you get jig heads, they have a short shanked hook. These are made for your bigger um, gulp plastics and whatnot, so they have a longer shank and a good keeper on it. So you're throwing that six, maybe seven inch gulp. I can't quite remember the size, like the um, which work really good, like that salmon um, red um, color uh, twister tail from gulp. This will match up perfectly because it has a longer shank, so you're not going to miss um, strikes because it has a longer shank. Um, really good. I'm really excited to try these out on the, the flounder and the wrecks. Yeah, and in that same order from Tsunami, we got some of their Fluke Mania, I guess, bucktail, teaser, whatever you want to call them, uh, jig heads. They come, again, anywhere from like one to one and a half ounces, so got a bunch of different sizes. These are going to be great for flounder, both inshore and uh, near shore too. Yeah, everybody knows flounder loves shiny. Yeah, they are yeah. shiny. That could be that could be looking that could look really good uh, either tip with a little plastic or just rig like that. You could rig it with a, a teaser strip. above it, squid strip, live minnow, yep, that they're, kind of they're thing. Great. So we got plenty of those in stock. Moving on, um, these were great last year for mackerel and bluefish and even rockfish. Um, around this time, we got a new color in the Shimano Colt Sniper jigs in the 21 gram and 28 gram. It's the chartreuse um, color. You can't go wrong with chartreuse. It always works. It looks really good. Um, it's, it's nice because a lot, when you get chartreuse jigs, usually it's all chartreuse. That is nice because it's just the back with um, shimmer shine on the uh, side and the white pearlescent uh, belly. They're going to be great for macro bluefish and um, rockfish. I can't wait to yeah. try those out. That chartreuse is going to look really good coming across the surface of the water on a, a sunny day where it can reflect and really kind of glow. It's going to yep. work pretty good this fall and late summer, hopefully. Yep. So next we got some new stickers in. Everybody loves stickers. Um, we got a rockfish here, Maryland flag rockfish. That's always a good one. Um, and then some cool uh, Maryland flag snakehead decals. And then a regular snakehead decal. The thing about these that are really nice is they are a very, very high quality decal. They won't fade in the, the sun like other decals can. Um, if you just feel it, it's, you'll know that it's a really nice decal. Um, and really realistic, really good looking. It's I can't wait to put them all over his kayak. Yeah. What? You know what's good? I'd put them on my kayak. Yeah. All right, next, we're going to talk about the buffs yeah, here. we got some uh, new buffs from Avid. Some pretty cool patterns. American flag, uh, like a Hawaiian pattern with some mahi on it. Uh, just green camo, black camo. And snow camo. Hard to see it, but snow camo down here. Uh, I guess if you're going to wear a mask, you might as well look good while doing it. So. Yep. And these are, um, they're sun blocking. They are 100% um, microfiber and breathable so they're and they're moisture written so you're going to stay dry it's going to be nice they're really soft and they're very nice i can't wait to try one out um yeah awesome avid makes great stuff um i guess let's jump into the fire nest because it's what's yeah, hot sure. get it so lighter fluid guys we're not charcoal, carrying lighter fluid, lighter fluid that's going to be hot when you light it for light what's your hot grill, your bonfire anything you want pretty much yeah anything you want to Light on fire. For multi-purpose um, features. Yep. Next, I guess we'll go into ammo. We um, still have plenty of 9mm, 40, 45, and 223, 556 in stock. Um, just highlighting another new um, home defense um, round we got here from Federal. It's the Hydroshock 9mm 124 grain personal defense. Uh, it's a wicked little bullet. It's They are just, it's going to be great for home defense. It's, pretty devastating. If Roger was here, he would say devastating a couple times, but he's not here with us right now. Then we got some new target loads from Federal. It's Top Gun Steel for shooting clays. 
sometimes if you don't feel comfortable shooting over water with lead, um, you can use this. This is a steel pellet instead, instead of lead. Um, I know some ranges out there only allow steel. We now have it in the seven and a half or seven shot um, ounce and an eighth. Um, 12 gauge target load, so that's that's a good one to add if you don't want to shoot lead, um, you want to shoot steel, we have that now. Another new thing we got this week, well, I guess we've had them before, we just got a new shipment in are these toadfish koozies. Uh, they're non-tipping, so essentially they suction down to any surface, pretty hard to knock over, but well, you can just easily just... lift them straight up. And we also well, no, got no. a... Uh, a new insert so you can put like your slim cans in them, your, your white claws, uh, claws, seltzers, mm -hmm. Great. exactly, your vizzies. So that's going to be something good if you're I mean, going these, out to Dobbins Island, hanging out on like the boat. Actually, like, they're hard to knock over. It's like, it's like crazy and then that easy. It's just with my pinky and my thumb. But you probably knock this table over with it. Yeah. So it's just, they're great. Um, next, nuts. Yeah, peanuts. We got shelled peanuts. What's better than making a mess on someone's boat? Like shelled peanuts. Exactly. Especially if it's not your boat, go to town. Um, everybody loves salted, roasted peanuts in the shell. So we got them from Jeppy, Jeppi, Jeppi, I don't know the name, how you pronounce it, but that is um, a new addition to our snack lineup. We got all the snacks. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much next time your buddy takes you out and you're not catching fish, start eating peanuts. Yep. So the shells have the longest bit. Yep. Next. We got some jackal lures. We got the new, or not new, it's new to us, the Rerange 130s. They are a great uh, freshwater jerk bait. You can even use them for um, rockfish, especially in the shallows. We're coming into the fall soon. Um, they're gonna work great. We have them in a multitude of different colors. I think we have the 110s as well, which is a little bit smaller lure. Um, some great color patterns here. We have them, that's like a chirple color. Everybody loves like their chirple-ish lures. That's really good. Um, they have a weight system in the back, so um, it has tungsten weights in it, so they're going to be really heavy for how light or how small the lure is. Um, they, this lure right here is three quarter ounces. A lot of the other companies that you get in this size lure, it's usually half, five eighths. Um, this is three quarter, which is awesome. Um, you can bomb those. Yeah, they're going to cast a mile, but they have some really good color patterns here. I'm very excited to try these. Yeah, and they still float in. They still uh, swim at four foot of water, so you can still use them in shallow water. Perfect. Not too shallow, but uh, like if you're on structure and like mm -hmm. suspended fish in like 10 foot of water, even shallower to like six foot, I would definitely yeah. throw those over some plastic yes. sometimes. Now, it wouldn't be a What's Hot video without some type of alcohol, booze, or adult mm -hmm. beverage. So, uh, we got this new IPA. Ghost O's. It's not an IPA. Not an IPA. Okay. It's Ghost O's. It's um, from... Um, Dewclaw Brewing Company. Baltimore, Baltimore Brewery. Yep. It's gonna go great with your salted roasted nuts. For sure. Um, it's like a semi-sour, um, it's brewed with cantaloupe, black lava sea salt. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty good. Um, can't wait to try it, 5.5% alcohol. They're, it's a Baltimore um, Brewing Company. It's gonna be great. I might have to buy a six pack tonight and try it out. Definitely. It's gonna be good. Um, next. We got some new Danco fillet knives here for all you guys that like those nice, pretty cool looking fillet knives or bait knives. They got some cool colors here. Um, they have fish patterns on them, so we have a chartreuse, blue, orange, and black. They're just they're really cool. They have a nice grip, rubberized grip handle. They're they're not an they're not an expensive knife. They're just a cheap knife, but um, they're going to be great to have in your tackle bag boat whichever um especially the brighter colors you'll be able to see them um yeah kind of this kind of thing where if you sharpen it after every few fish it's gonna it's gonna work just as well as an expensive knife and won't have to drop 50 bucks on it yeah so. there's gonna be some good additions to our lineup um next we've had these i think we've been out these are the salt life um or surf gear i'm sorry uh chair they're nice because they have a rod holder a little table here you can put your Salted nuts on. And you go so you got it. Yes, your go so's. Mm -hmm. Um cup holder. And even if you're white like if you're white perch fishing, it's got a ruler on it. How phenomenal is that? With the rod holder, all you gotta do is bring this, your rod, your drinks, and you can just go sit on the beach, um, sit on the pier, do whatever. It folds up. It's actually remarkably light. It's so it's not gonna be, you know, you get these chairs that are super heavy that but no, this one's really light, really strong. 
very, very comfortable. I'm, I was sitting in it earlier, oh, yeah. and it was, yeah. didn't want to get up. Um, yeah, great chair. Last but not least, we got a new gun in, so in stock. It's the Legacy Escort. Um, I think it's the SDX 410. It's a 410 shotgun, AR style. It comes with three magazines. Or sorry. There we go. Comes with three magazines. One here, two of these, and then one is actually, it says actually cool because it comes and stays inside the buttstock. So you have one always ready. Um, that's just a cool feature they did there. Um, ambidextrous um, magazine release. So you got one here as well as one here. You got this bolt handle there, bolt release. So your bolt catch is right here. Safety, just like a regular AR. You got your regular front post sight and a carry handle, which is also a sight. It actually comes with Magpul style um, flip up front and rear sight. So if you don't want to have this, you can just have the rear and front sight. Um, comes with this pistol, uh, this forward grip, which is pretty cool because it actually comes with it. You can get a good grip on it. Best part about it is it also acts cool. as a bipod. I don't know why you'd need one for 410, but why not, right? It's <laughs> why, why not? So you can have it and just look cool. Um, exactly. It already comes with all the bells and whistles. Rail here, even has a rail on the forward grip. Um, sling attachment here. It's just overall cool. It has an adjusting um, comb. If you want to put like a red dot on it and you don't get a good um, sight picture, you can just adjust that. Of course, it's not working right now just because I'm one-handing it. But it actually does come up. Um, it's overall, it feels really good. So we have, like I said, this is 410. We have think five of them in stock but they're going quick um yeah just come and get them while they last um really cool you can give us a call pay over the phone if you want to hold one or just come in and take a look at it feel it it's gonna be awesome i think that's all we have for well, this we got one oh thing, oh actually. my lord i can't be we got it a out. new oyster steamer in. uh and what we call it an oyster steamer can pre pretty much use for anything crabs clams uh, i guess if you want to steam oysters that's okay just don't tell me about it yeah, um, it's pretty, it's wrong if you stand up here. So obviously you got the place to put your, your vinegar, your beer, your water. Then this just comes off, just like a pretty much a normal steamer. We um, have been out of steamers for a while. We did get some in. Um, this is a newer one for us. It's, it's crabbing time right now. Yeah. Come get your oyster slash crab steamers. Well, this, this will probably hold like a little under a half bushel, maybe yeah, somewhere in that area. But it's perfect. That's a good um, size because then you can uh, keep them coming, keep them hot, so yep. you don't steam a whole bushel and end up picking cold crabs. Yeah. So um, I think that'll have to do it for this week. We will see you next week um, with another episode of What's Hot. We thank you, Tim, for being another yeah. guest on our um, What's Hot video. We'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Thank you.